Hello everybody, and welcome back to episode 2 of my Terraria Calamity playthrough. Starting back where we left off with the last episode, um, a couple of tasks for today. First things first, I think I'm going to go to... Do I have Crimson or Corruption in this world? Uh, to the Corruption, and try to blow up a couple of Shadow Orbs so that we can hopefully get a Goblin Invasion to spawn in. So I'm going to craft up some sticky bombs and then head on in that direction. Got Wolfram armor on. But I don't think I have any summons yet that are any good, really. I should have the Squirrel Squire. Yeah, in here. Alright. And that should be good on everything. So we are going to go for it. And then after that, we're going to do some exploring for the Sky Islands and... Oh no, the bunny. Okay. Uh, and work on finishing the base up as well. So I'm going to head on over there. And I'm going to work on editing some of this episode. So since this is a bit of a journey, I will be back when I am at the Corruption. I thought I'd be back when I got to the corruption, but instead I'm back now because I'm pretty sure. Whoop. Okay, that was some awesome moves right there. I'll just have to keep going. I almost died on the way to the corruption. Didn't even make it there yet. Doing this at night was probably not the best idea, honestly. But I should be almost there now if I don't die on the way. And it's daytime, as proven by the slime that just jumped past me. So, that should make this a lot easier. I believe the corruption is, yeah, right over here. So. We will find out whether or not I can make this. Going with Wolfram armor and only a amethyst staff is probably a risky decision to make, but we're going for it anyhow. Because the sooner that we can get that uh, goblin invasion to spawn, the better. the trick of finding which of these holes in the ground I need to go into. Another pair of climbing claws. An umbrella. Not bad. of these I think it's I think it's just one that I have to do for the goblin invasion right can't remember off the top of my head so just navigate my way through here that's one also gets me a musket which is a much better weapon right now of course I'm immediately stuck in the hole that I just made Okay, and there's another one there, but a whole lot of enemies. There's another one down there, with less enemies. So let's try that. As soon as I can take this 
guy out that I should be able to. The ore. And with any luck, I can just go straight down here. thing that I could have gotten. So I'll go ahead and equip that for a little bit of extra light. Hold on to my musket. Uh, maybe that'll get an arms dealer to move in as well. And then while it's daylight outside, I'm going to go ahead and use that grab potion uh, so that I can hopefully get some good loot from Sky Islands. It looks like we only have one though. Let's, let's think about this. Um, hmm. Okay. I'll just go... I'll go to the left with it and see what I can find. So, I should be able to run into some of the planetoids up here. Um, Hopefully, Sky Island. We'll see what else. I'm just gonna grab as much of anything down here as I can. And not get killed by the harpies, hopefully. Although that is much easier said than done. islands are a risk to go for right at the beginning of the game, but extremely helpful if, if you can pull it off. Because they have a, have a lot of good early game loot. These jungle ones can be pretty good. This one has a water chest in it. So maybe I'll get like a trident or diving helmet. That's not bad either. No, is there anything on the glowing mushroom besides, I mean, obviously glowing mushroom itself, but go ahead and grab all of that. Scott, uh, not Sky Fury, Star Fury is honestly a really good weapon for right now. It'll allow me to take things out. Also, since when does it go through blocks? I could have sworn that the Star Fury did not go through blocks and it hit the ground instead. If that's really helpful, then it does. Damn. There we go. So besides, um, Besides the goals that I mentioned, I also would like to fight the Desert Scourge and the Eye of Cthulhu this episode. So after a bit more gearing up, I will probably attempt to those. Um, both of them should be fairly simple. I don't see why I would have any issue with either of them. Um, I've played quite a bit of Calamity, so I'm very used to both of those bosses even in Revenge of Sun. It's the, it's the uh, post-Moon Lord bosses that I normally start struggling with. Oh, that was, that was the end of our grab potion. Okay. Well, that is not bad. We got a better weapon out of it. Um, we'll be able to create a sky mill, I think. I didn't grab any clouds while I was up there, which was a mistake. Um, got some silver. Oh, I did get clouds. Hold on. I didn't get any rain clouds, though. You need a sky mill to make the rain clouds. 
Oh well. Um, got some plate, which will be helpful for the air spec stuff later on. And a feather, which will also be useful for air spec stuff later on. Uh, nothing currently though. So, uh, well, except. I guess I could get Veering Wind. It's a pretty good magic weapon. I still don't know that I've picked, like, a class, per se, that I'm going to play. Um, kind of just using whatever the best gear that I have right now is. So. So we'll see about that. Um... I do want to make another mana crystal. And I probably want to work on. Hmm. Starfire is really good if I get some melee gear. I have summoner armor. I don't know why I got summoner armor, honestly. It's been a little bit since the last episode. This is why you probably shouldn't wait a month and a half between episodes, but whatever. Um. Well, in the meantime, let me work on finishing up my base. So, probably going to time lapse this. I'm just going to grab some more wood, finish filling out the walls, and probably add a roof on the tower. Um, yeah, probably a roof on the tower. So, I will jump into a time lapse to get that done. Um, I feel like that's a decent time-lapse thing, so we'll give it a shot. Like I said, I'll be working on the editing some, so until I find my kind of style. That's rare, isn't it? Kind of cute, though. I'll leave them on for that. Um, until I find my editing style, it'll probably be back and forth a lot, but I think I'm going to time-lapse this build, so I will jump into it. Now that that is complete, um, of course it's nighttime again, but you can see I've filled out the rest of the house, um, added an extra room up to the top that's probably going to end up being where I set my spawn point, um, and while doing all of that, the arms dealer moved in, so we can now get a couple of things from him. Um, most importantly, musket balls and the mini shark would also probably be pretty helpful at this stage. Uh, I'm just making all the magic crystals or mana crystals that I can currently. Um, and then the next step, honestly, is probably going to be magic storage. Um, as far as like upgrades to the house. Obviously for now, um, I would like to gear up a little bit and get ready to fight a couple of bosses. So... Um, 
So I think that's what I'm going to do next. But as far as the house stuff, I'm pretty sure the magic storage is going to be the next kind of upgrade there. Um, have the sapphires or the crafting interface. Um, but I don't have any diamond or emerald, so uh, that'll be a little bit more difficult. But for now, let's just go ahead and put all this up. Um, and I'm going to head to the underground desert. Hopefully, uh, with any luck, I'll get a storm draw staff pretty quickly so that I can be using some of my summoner um, gear that I have on currently for some reason. Um, and then get the stuff for the summon item for Desert Scourge. So, I'm gonna head in that direction and start working on that. Alright, I am barely into the underground desert, but I've already found a desert house that has the extractionator, which is extremely useful. Um, an ancient chisel, which is pretty good actually. I think I'll replace my step stool with that. Um, and a bast statue, which is, I think, pretty good. I've honestly never really used them. Um, but, I mean, they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be pretty good. Um, okay, that went about how I expected. Uh, I'm going to put my extraction in her down and then back to, <laughs> back to the desert. Oh, that was probably really loud because I just left into an echo. But, um, go ahead and put my extraction in her up in this top room. And defense by five when placed nearby. Put it in the house for now, but let me take that with me to the arenas. Um, and the defense range is pretty good. It's not terrible. Could probably cover an entire arena if I put it in the middle for like the, the Desert Scourge and I have two arenas. Um, I'm really just gearing up on these mana crystals because odds are pretty good that I wind up using some magic weapons at this playthrough. So, what I'd like to do, even though it's probably going to be super time consuming later in the game, is just, I didn't mean to kill the duck, um, is just gear up stuff for all the different classes. And that way I can swap out pretty easily depending on what uh, my best weapon for, for each point is. So, we're back in the desert now. Maybe this time will go a little bit better. Um, I did not get any antlion mandibles out of that, which is surprising because there were like four antlions there. Uh, this one, on the other hand, antlion mandible. Where'd the. I saw one flying there. There we go. So I've got a couple of antlion mandibles. I will go straight down here. I do want to take those out. And him. fighting these guys for a little while. Um, hopefully I find a couple more... Oh no. Uh, hopefully I find a couple more houses while I'm down here. Um, I think honestly that's already all that I need for the Desert Scourge, isn't it? Here. Um, 
the underground desert is so stressful at the beginning of the game just because the spawn rate is so high that everything is coming at me all at once. That's probably a lava down there. Although, I don't know, I'm still pretty high up for lava. I wonder if that's the, um, desert, like, oh no, it's genuinely just a torch. I got my hopes up for the desert, uh, shrine, I think they're called. Um, because that thing has the, what is it, the Lux Luxor's gift, I think, that's really useful. Uh, magic conch. And a desert medallion, okay. So that means that we don't have to collect stuff for it. Which is good. Still gonna take out storm lions, and with any luck, I'll get the storm jaw staff. Uh, pretty soon, it's got a pretty high drop rate. So, it shouldn't take terribly long. Of course I need to stop dropping sand on myself. That always helps. Now that I say it doesn't normally take too long, it's going to take forever to drop this time, but so be the way the game works sometimes. At least these things are plentiful. They spawn all the time. I genuinely thought they were supposed to be a rare creature when I started playing Terraria. Nope. Super common. Oh, I should also, especially now that we have the arms dealer and a good musket, I should also be collecting this desert fossil. Because that's the only way to get the um, sturdy fossils that I might need for if I try to make the, um, is it just called the fossil armor, I think? It's a good range to set in Calamity. Or I think it just in vanilla, it's not a Calamity feature. It's the normal terraria feature. Also collect this amber, because it would be good for amber staff. Let's see if I can... Oop, nope, okay. Just trying to do that without... Um, well, I feel like things are just telling me to go melee now. I keep getting good melee. <laughs> that is not a bad weapon. Um, I was in the middle of saying something in that. Um, oh yeah, the amber for the amber staff would be a pretty good uh, magic weapon. Okay. Dodge. Keep dodging. Okay. Probably have more than what I need now. I just really want that storm jaw staff. Um, so, you know, got a golfer that I don't think I've ever genuinely used. Sometimes I use the lawnmower for decoration, and that's about it. How much desert fossil am I sitting at? Uh, 406. Not bad. There's another desert chest. The underground desert is just pure chaos, I feel like, half the time. But Star Fury is honestly shredding it because I can just take stuff out um, through walls. Dune Rider boots. That's great. That sounded really sarcastic. That's actually genuinely a really good upgrade. <laughs> Sometimes I sound very sarcastic when I'm trying to sound genuine. It's a problem, but not too much of a problem. Oh, that. Those boulders are. 
they already have been the death of me, I think, a couple times, but are going to continue being the death of me, because they suck. so many of these things. I've gotten the storm spear before I get a storm gel staff. I didn't think the storm gel staff was that uncommon. Okay. This also gives me pretty good light, which I'm surprised by. taken me this long to get the stone gel staff before. I normally get it just while trying to get the stuff for desert search. Okay. Um Maybe I'm gonna go till I find another. I'm gonna go till there, apparently. Um, let's see what the traveling merchant has magic hat, not bad, extender grip, and stopwatch. 5, 10, 18 gold. I don't know that I have that much. In fact, I'm pretty sure that I don't have that much. Because I don't think I've been depositing coins in my chests. Which is honestly a poor decision, but it's the decision that was made. Okay, well, um, let's extractionate these desert fossils and see what... Actually, let's hold on to them. Clear out some room in my inventory. And then extraction of these and see what we get. An emerald and a diamond, so that's good. And 91 sturdy fossil, which is plenty for the fossil set. I think plenty for the fossil set and and the amber staff. Let's make the fossil set first. I think I am going to go with that. Yep, and Amber Staff. Awesome. Okay. Well, go ahead and put the fossil set on a different loadout. Um, we'll switch these two things over. I had another pair of climbing claws in here somewhere. Yep, climbing claws. That's really all that I have. Oh, I can put the aglet on. I think that's all that I, that I have that's useful for, for ranged. So, we'll just go at it with that. I just have a shackle sitting in here somewhere, but I don't think that I do. No, it doesn't look like I do. Well, it's disappointing that I have to let that traveling merchant go, but I just don't have anything for for him, so. You can craft all of these into bars. Actually, let's just deposit them for now. And then, then we can grab them. Let's see. And sort out the chests in that way. Silver ore, iron, sorts. 
copper. Alright. Now we can craft all these up in the bars. So a whole bunch of that. Some tin. More iron. As though we don't have plenty of iron to last us forever. Uh, some lead. We have plenty of lead too. Some silver. Always good to have more silver. Tungsten. Which I don't think we have much of because it's not in our world. And then gold. And then let's do... Hmm. Let's go ahead and do a platinum bow. Or the musket. I mean, the musket is better, obviously, but that doesn't mean that I want to use it because it's so slow. Let's do a platinum bow. I'll swap it out for the spear. Um, actually, I'm going to leave all that on. I'll keep the musket, even though I'm not going to be using it. Uh, make the golden crown so that I can do clean slime later on. And then I think that's pretty much the gist of it. So what I'm going to do now is go and set up an arena for the Desert Scourge. And I'll be back when that's complete. And I'll go ahead and fight him. So I'm going to jump to there. And I will be right back. Alright. I'm back. As you can see, the arena is built. Um, and plenty of stuff is spawning. But I think I'm going to go ahead and spawn in the Desert Scourge. And we will attempt that battle and see how it goes. Um, so... That means either you're going to see the fight or see me die. We'll find out. Uh, I did also craft up a grappling, gra gra hook, grappling hook before I left, so that should help with some of this fight. Let's do it. That almost took me out. And that did take me out. All right. That was not off to a bad start, all things considered. Um, obviously, I have a bonus to my range damage, so maybe I should swap out and just try this some using the um, using just ranged weapons and see how that goes. So I'll cut back to it and I'll spawn them in again and give this another attempt. That got me down to like one health. And I'm dead again. Okay. With those are the problem pieces, obviously. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to navigate them a little bit better. Um Which honestly is probably gonna require me to have a double jump. Um which I can craft double jumps. Uh, I don't have an alchemy table. Then an anvil if I get three feathers. Which honestly may be worth it. Let's see, I only have one feather, don't I? Where's my feather? So I have a feather. What are the other things? Three antlion mandibles, five sand, and five cloud. Five clouds. Where's my sand? Ah, five sand. So I would need two more feathers. But for that, I'd need to go back up. I mean, honestly, not that far. 
Let's see what we can do. Because a double jump would be extremely helpful because it would increase my movement by a lot. So, I'm going to attempt to get this and we'll see how this goes. It didn't go well. It did not go well. <laughs> I died immediately to the first heartbeat that I found. But we're going back up because what in the world was that? Is that a slime? Did it bounce? I'm going to have to look at the recording to see what that was. I, I just saw something come flying through my screen, but then it looked like it bounced back out. Oh well. It'll probably be edited in, whatever that was. Ah. Uh, just I did not see it right now, so I'm going to have to go check the recording on it. Okay, so I know harpies can spawn here, because this is where I died to them. So... So I'll just chill here and wait. Not for long. Okay, come on. Okay, that's one more feather. Like your feathers fall on the ground because you know I can always go back down there to get them. My main goal is just ouch. Okay, that actually might work. It's being in here and trying to lure the harpies in, or they get stuck under. new harpy hunting would be so difficult. Do harpies not do contact damage? Oh well, either way, that's all that we need. Uh, we do have another traveling merchant here. I still have like two gold, I think. But Alright, well this will allow us to get the sandstorm in a bottle, which should greatly increase our odds against the desert scourge so one more time hopefully the last time um the musket just wasn't doing that much so i'm gonna keep it stuck here hopefully the last time let's go and defeat the desert scourge and lost oh come on okay Okay. You know what? <laughs> We're gonna take a break from that. As much as I would have liked to do that. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna go ahead and deposit all in our inventories. Um, and rather than doing the Desert Scourge, since that's not going swell, um, probably about to call the episode, honestly, because it's probably getting getting pretty long. Um, but I do want to do something productive this episode. I'm not sure what it is. Um, our shiver thorns are gone, too, which is splintered. Let's see. Um, what gear-ups can we do? for the Desert Scourge. Not a ton more, honestly. Which is what's disappointing about this. Um, we can do the Goblin Army and that'll give us some better some better stuff. Um, then I also would like some damage accessories. But I don't know what those are for this stage. So, Alright. Well, I am going to call the episode here for now. 
uh, because I'm sure the episode has gotten pretty long by this point. Um, Desert Scourge is being way more difficult than than it should be. So, uh, we'll have to deal with that in the next episode, and hopefully, hopefully, come back at it much more prepared and ready to take it out. So, I will see y'all all in the next episode, and goodbye.